Ice, the Pikachu main from Connecticut, and yeah. Carnage, one of the people who has gone through Connecticut's identity crisis oh and uh, <laughs> changed his name from Retro to Carnage, amongst other people like uh, the man behind the keys right now, Skyhook, a.k.a. Uh, Face Melter, a.k.a. Snail Down. We Dan. don't even know who he is anymore. We don't, we don't. <laughs> but we, we do know that we're going to be starting off on Smashville. Absolutely. What do you think about this team composition overall, the Pikachu and Fox versus the Ryu and the Lucas? I love I love this, okay? This is super unique. You don't see either of these teams really ever. I don't think I've ever mm -hmm. seen this team combination on either end. Exactly. I, have, I don't think I've ever actually seen Ryu and Lucas played in a double smash before. It is going to work out very well because Jen is so solid against Foxes. Absolutely. That it, um, I think the big key is for Ice to kind of smother Jen. Make sure he doesn't ever get an opportunity to really combo him. But Green Team having a relatively solid start, forcing him off stage. Yeah, that's going to be a big deal. Um, Green Team, yeah, they can, they can get pressured. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the green team's going to get pressured into a double KO from that Lucas down smash. That was Very disgusting. solid on G Ray, noticing that we're both uh, being a little bit too, a little too fast with the recovery. Because yeah, when take your time. Mm -hmm. yeah, and doubles, if you're if you get a little bit too aggressive with trying to get back while your teammates also off stage, you're going to set yourself up for very stressful situations. You need to be able to communicate quickly and recognize who's going to go first. And unfortunately, they had a double KO for it. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, as we're seeing here, green team is really just getting put to the ledge a lot. It's starting to show. Yeah, blue team getting a lot of pressure on him, but unfortunately, uh, Jen's going to end up losing his first stock. Green team showing a little bit of life here and a little bit of team use communication is going to lead to Carnage's stock. Oh, unfortunately, they both went off stage trying to get the same stock. I like the fact that blue team has pretty much had overall control at the side. Like you said, they've been forcing them to a ledge a lot. Yeah, they have that. They have that hit power. You know, they. I mean, Lucas and Ryu both hit incredibly hard depending mm -hmm. on the situation. And yeah, the issue of Fox, it's going to be pretty hard to work around. Yeah, both of them are hitting like such freight trains. When I mean, Fox has great KO potential. Like that air dodge read into the back here. He was at 138, but finally getting that sealed out sock. They need to put a lot of pressure on him. Start eliminating these as soon as possible, especially with Jen sitting over there at 94%. Uh, just team, like that. Team assist kill, yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately, green team just not looking as solid as they did at the very beginning there. But if they can start to get a little communication going on and see what is out. But right now, it's looking very, very solid for blue team. Nice delay on Jen to avoid getting gipped by Ice on the side there. Absolutely. They're seeing quite a, quite a good lead right here. I don't, oh, yeah, and he takes, takes out Fox. So Pikachu here, I know does really well in 2v1 situations. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how well against Ryu and Lucas, but as we're seeing there, I was going to mention before, the healing factor of blue team is going to be a huge difference. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get any sort of room, just throw Hadouken at Lucas and it's going to be a lot of extra percent mm -hmm. on your end that you're healing back. Yeah, like you said right there, as soon as they threw Ice to the side, immediately going for a heal on Lucas. They want to make sure that they keep this percentage as low as possible because with Ice's position, oh that was wow, a nasty back here. That was very smart. He might have, even if he SD'd, he had a stock available to him, yeah, there so was it didn't some matter. Commitment there. Yeah. That was really smart. So every time, like, it, uh, Blue Team had a situation where they were forcing Green Team at the ledge, there was a little bit too much panic almost coming from the Green Team. Yeah. They were trying too hard to come back quickly, and they both tried to go after the same target off stage a lot. They need to make sure that they push one teammate, like uh, G Rain was doing with them off to the side so they can go and try and smother uh, Jen's recovery. Because the last thing you want is Ryu to live that long with that much range. No, absolutely. And we did see Green Team, their main problem was they were getting smothered at the edge, and they were also interfering with each other, like mm -hmm. that team assist kill that we saw. Yep. And Blue Team's coordination just seemed seemed to be so solid. Like mm -hmm. we saw we saw Jen hold down the ground. G Rain was just pushing them straight to the edge, taking advantage of those recoveries and that's a huge deal, especially when you see Pikachu and Fox, because they generally don't have the easiest time mm -hmm. getting back to center stage. Pikachu, because quick attack extends a hurt box, and then Fox, obviously, because of his recovery, is linear. You know, you can't exactly just jump straight back to center. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, one thing that we saw in the last game, too, uh, like you said, they, they had good team comp. Even though they didn't have a lot of, say, throw combo follow-ups, they were always there to protect each other. Yeah. And they made sure that when the time came, they were ready for the heals and all the other situations. We're actually going to see a switch to the Sheik off of Jen here. Kind of interesting. Maybe it has to do yeah. with the Final Destination pick. Oh, maybe. I, I'm honestly wondering, maybe just because he wants a backup for doubles. Mm -hmm. but Possibly good tech on his part to avoid getting gimped by the Pikachu on the side there. 
Um, ooh, there we go. Back throw into the back air. <laughs> talking about throw follow-ups. Oh they got him. That was um, that was a good start by Green Team, but they did lose stock quite earlier on Fox. Yeah, good job by Green Team though. Also getting that four throw into the Thunder to like reiterate that they're still in this. Ice trying to get a gimp on G Rain on the side there, but unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to continue because Jen's been doing such a great job of combo breaking. Sheik's so good in doubles where it comes to just throwing on needles or throwing out a soft hit in the air to break up anything you're trying to do on his team. It's just enough to get that positioning. Mm -hmm. Just enough. And she's incredibly fast. So that's that's going to be perfect for the blue team. Lucas, obviously, not with the best mobility, but his ledge trapping combined with Sheik's mobility is going to help a lot. Yeah, you know, Jen right now pushing Pikachu back off the side. They've been doing such a great job of just keeping at least one of the two green team members away from the situation. But green team does currently have the stock lead right now. Ice doing a much better job with the survivability. I think this final destination pick, allowing him to have more room to run around and stay out of, say, Carnage's range, yeah. there won't be as many team kills where they accidentally hit each other. No, there's not as much of a landing problem also. Actually, no, there might be more of a landing problem, but in terms of their advantage as green team, it's going to be a lot easier to juggle blue team. Mm -hmm. And Green Team getting forced off stage, so luckily for uh, g Ray, I'm sorry, luckily for uh, Carnage, he didn't have enough time to go and try and smother his recovery because Ice was right behind him to put a little bit of pressure on him. Starting to force Blue Team off the side. Here. Off misses the up air, but we're seeing a lot of improvements here from Green Team's combo ability. Yeah, unfortunately Green Team didn't get a couple stocks off there from those throws, but they are starting to notice. They're paying attention to each other and realizing, oh, I have this opportunity. Let me go get it. And they haven't hit it, but with what they're doing, it's definitely going to come with these following stocks. Yeah, they're not so much. They're not so much rushing, and that's going to be a, it's going to be a big difference maker here. Yeah, especially with the fact that she can't really kill. Uh, you know, Carnage has kind of just been chilling out with this 130 for a little while now. Uh, they they really need to focus on G Rain, maybe trying to get this throw and get this stock out. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty obvious pass at 100 range. G Rain's probably gonna be looking for an up throw, back throw. Some sort of thrown to his teammate at lower percent. Trying to get maybe an air dodge read out of that up air there. I think his positioning was a little bit off, but so. But then again, he was only a 60%, so probably wasn't gonna die. I'm not sure if the sheet change was actually smart on Blue Team's part, just because Lee was doing so well for them. Yeah, I agree. I, maybe it was just like, a, like you said, a swap to try and practice a, a like another yeah, character. Wrong one, so. Round one is a good time to try something like that. Luckily for Carnage, he did not eat that down here, but he's going to eat the forward air on the side, and that is going to be a stock finally. Did a great job of kind of holding on to that and taking it for a little while. Still, but dead even game right now between Pikachu and Lucas, both being at 100 plus percent. It's a very close game here. Mm -hmm. They do need to be careful because if the Pikachu does get thrown near the ledge, that is going to be a stock. And luckily for Jen, oh, never mind. Jen was able to go off the side and get that bouncing fish, challenging the quick attack, and now Green Team both on their last stocks of their winter side life. What do you think that Green Team really needs to do to boil down to like seal this out? Okay, so Green Team, when they started up on their combo game and when they were just trying to hold the center stage and push the other team to the ledge, I mean, it seems obvious, but with Cheek and Lucas, specifically Lucas, he doesn't have the best time getting off the ledge. Mm -hmm. Cheek more so definitely does with the mobility, but she's a, she's really light, and you don't want to risk anything in terms of a 2v1 situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, Green Team's trying to smother the ledge and go get Jen as quick as possible so they can force G Rain into the 2v1 because even though Lucas is very solid when it comes to the team play, he doesn't have the type of frame data and mobility to deal with a Pikachu and a Fox, no. whereas Sheik would. Yeah, absolutely. If he's getting smothered in a 2v1 situation, Sheik really has to be there to save him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great team we have overall. Luckily for G uh, Jen, G Rain grabbed Carnage out of the way. He's not going to get the stock, but now he's going to eat off F Smash, and now it's a 2v1 situation against the blue team. Very different than what I expected. It looked like green team was going to possibly green get the team? 2v1. Yeah, green team at one point did have a decent enough lead, but there's going to be an SD on the Pikachu there. Yeah, very unfortunate. Sad Trying to go for that Nair, maybe get a trade or try and get the Gimp, but fell a little bit too fast, and that's going to be... A 2-0 victory for the New York Invaders, starting off the tournament, yeah. putting one of our guys in the losers. I, I really like the, uh, not just the combo game, mm. but 